What's happening guys? Welcome to RTH Tech TV. This is Redmi 4 which has been recently launched in India. It comes with Snapdragon 435 processor, 4100 milliampere battery and 5 inch HD display. So the complete list of specifications are given in the description box below. Make sure to check them out for more information. And uh, I've been using this device for more than 7 days guys. So I've actually written down some good things, some bad things. And uh, I'll also be giving you, uh, you know, the conclusion of whether you should buy this device or not. So I'll be listing the reasons to buy or some reasons not to buy. So make sure to watch this video till the end if you're planning to purchase this device. Right. So and also give this video a thumbs up, guys. That will you know, surely help us start a YouTube channel. And also make sure to leave your opinions about this device and about the video in the comment section below. I right, guess so quickly let's start with the good things and bad things. But before that, I want to mention that. You know, there are like three variants of this Redmi 4 available in India. So one which comes with 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, price at 7,000 rupees, 332 combination price at 9,000 rupees and 464 combination price at 11,000 rupees. All right, guys, so let's quickly start with the good things then. Now, the first good thing about this device is the battery capacity. So it comes with a massive battery of 4,100 milliamp hour. That combined with 720p display will give you some good battery backup. So in my initial testing, I have got screen on times ranging, uh, you know, around seven hours. So that's definitely good, I believe, at this price point. And, uh, you know, I'll test it for another two to three cycles and update the complete information in my full review, right? Now, as I mentioned, it comes with 720p display, that is HD display. Now, that doesn't mean it's inferior to 1080p display or the full HD display. As you can see, it's quite sharp. And also, the weaving angles are quite good. So as you can see, I love the weaving angles as well and uh, I also love one more fact that is it can get quite bright you know under the sun and at the same time uh, let me show you in the white background and at the same time it can get quite dim as well you know in the dark so it's very good to you know uh, read late night on bed so as you can see it's it can get quite dimmer as well so I love this fact as well this actually shows how good or how bad the display quality is and uh, there is one thing which I did not like I'll mention that in the cons section right so the next thing which I liked about this device is the compact form factor so 5 inch uh, device very comfortable to hold very handy over that uh, the back panel is metal and uh, you know I love this matte black uh, color as well so I wanted to get Redmi Note 4 in the matte black variant but as I got it uh, early Henceforth, I couldn't get this color. So this is my first hands-on with this device and I'm really loving this color as well. So it has nice heft to it as well, so which makes it look and feel very premium. Now, apart from that, it also has all the necessary sensors you need. So like proximity sensor, accelerometer, magnetometer, gyroscope. It has all the necessary things, guys. So don't need to worry on sensors aspect, right? And uh, not only that, but it also has IR blaster. So through which you can control uh, TVs, ACs, etc. So literally it makes, uh, you know, this phone work as remote control, right? All right, guys. Now speaking of the camera quality, I would say focusing was quite good. It also produced some good bokeh effect. As you can see, it has nice blurred background. And uh, in general, if I have to say in daylight, it did perform pretty good. Uh, but uh, when it comes to low light, expecting a lot from this camera, you know, wouldn't make any sense. So to be honest, I didn't like the low light performance. Right. Now speaking of the sound quality guys, I felt it was loud and clear and I was also impressed with the speaker placement. So this time around it's on bottom side and I really loved the quality and also the speaker placement. So here's the sample guys.
Now the final thing which I liked about this device is software. So MIUI with Theme Store and it has a lot many features like uh, dual apps, second space and uh, one handed mode so on and so forth. I've made a separate video for that. So it's called as 15 plus best features of Redmi 4. So I'll leave the links in the description box below. So if you're interested, please check that out. All right, guys, now let's quickly discuss some cons or issues with Redmi 4. Now, I just want to make one thing clear. If you're planning to purchase the variant, which is available at 7,000 rupees, don't watch this video further. Go ahead and purchase that. But if you're planning to purchase the variant, which is available at 9,000 rupees or 11,000 rupees, then watch this video till the conclusion, right? Now, the first thing which I did not like about Redmi 4, you know, at 9,000 or 11,000 rupees is they have cut down on notification LED light. It's just single colored now and it's not multicolored. Uh, as far as I know, Xiaomi, you know, doesn't cut down on things. This is the first time I've noticed them, you know, cutting down on notification LED light. So that's the basic thing, I believe. Uh, they shouldn't have done that. I actually tested with the uh, Lightflow application as well and uh, it didn't work. So just let me know, guys, if there is any sort of application which will make it work or else, you know, I'll stick to the fact that uh, it's the hardware which is limiting. So I'll quickly show that to you. Let's go to settings and uh, let's go to additional settings. And if you go to notification light, as you can see earlier, we used to get, you know, to select the colors for different tasks, but that's missing. And I've also noticed, you know, even if the battery is below 10%, it will always be in white color. And even if it's charged 100%, it will be in white color. So that's really disappointing, I would say. Right. And next thing they have cut down is uh, on the capacitive uh, touch buttons. So they are not backlit now. Now, if you see this Redmi 4 is available at 9000 and 11000 and uh, base variant of Redmi Note 4 is available at, uh, you know, uh, 10,000 and 11,000 rupees. So the capacitive touch buttons on Redmi Note 4 are backlit while they are not backlit on, uh, you know, uh, Redmi 4, even though they are priced very similar. So that's another thing which I did not like. And they have also cut down on uh, the buttons aspect. So in Redmi Note 4, we can actually change the functionality of back button and the multitasking button. But on Redmi 4, uh, we cannot do that. So that also they have cut down a little bit on uh, software features as well. And another thing they have cut down on software part is double tap to wake. So if you go to display settings, so you can notice that there is no double tap to wake option. So they have cut on double tap to wake option. They have cut on the button functionality. They have cut on, uh, you know, uh, the backlit for these capacitive uh, touch buttons. So here are certain things which I did not like to be honest. Now when it comes to performance guys, I believe Snapdragon 625 is much better than Snapdragon 435. It's much smoother on Redmi Note 4 rather on Redmi 4. So for 7,000 rupees, I would say it's manageable. Uh, it's uh, quite good for that price. But for 9,000 or 11,000 rupees, uh, I wouldn't recommend Redmi 4. Rather, you can add a little bit extra and go with Redmi Note 4. So because I believe Snapdragon 625 has overall good performance compared to Snapdragon 435. Now the next thing which I did not like about Redmi 4 is uh, the fact that the display is little bit on the warmer side. So as you can see, uh, you can clearly notice that on the white background. So I felt that Redmi Note 4's display is itself little bit on the warmer side when compared to Moto G5 Plus or so. But uh, Redmi 4's display is still, you know, a little bit worse, I would say. It's uh, still very warm. So no matter how you change the color temperatures under display settings, it's still on the warmer side. So that's one thing I believe can be fixed through a software update and I hope that Xiaomi fixes this uh, issue. And uh, next thing which I did not like about Redmi 4 is the mic issue, you know, while uh, recording video. So it has high frequency to the recorded voice and henceforth it's very, you know, irritating at times. Uh, if, you, if you're planning to buy this device for video recording for YouTube and if you're planning to make some live videos like this, right, unscripted videos like this, and it's not that good that good idea to you know have redmi 4 uh, so i'll give you the sound sample guys you can judge by yourself so guys this video is being recorded with the rear facing camera of redmi 4 and uh, i do have uh, jbl go speakers here with me so i'll keep on uh, speaking for a couple of seconds so that you can get to know how good or how bad the microphone reception is and this is a logitech x50 this is a bluetooth speaker from philips so i've ordered a couple more bluetooth speakers so once i get them i'll make a review uh, you know mentioning which is the best bluetooth speaker under uh, you know 2000 rupees or so or under 1500 rupees or so so stay subscribed and stay tuned guys and guys, I'll keep quiet for a few seconds now so that you can also get to know how good or how bad the noise reduction is.
All right, guys. Next, guys, I felt the fingerprint sensor performance was a little bit on the slower side. So comparing the price that's at uh, 9,000 or 11,000 rupees, it's not suitable. And I believe this can be fixed through a software update. And I wish that Xiaomi fixes this as well. So, you know, when you compare with Redmi Note 4, this I felt was a little bit on the slower side. I'll quickly give you the demo of that one now. So as you can see, it uh, gives the sound first and then it has a delay of a second and then it unlocks. So as you can see, So when compared to competition, I believe at 9,000 or 11,000 rupees, this is not acceptable. And as I mentioned, it can be fixed through a software update. Next final issue which I have is a 2.5D curve class. Now there is a classic example of what can happen to a 2.5D curve class. This is my Redmi Note 4's display uh, unit. As you can see, it has uh, broken from this edge and the crack uh, emerged uh, from this edge towards the center and it completely broke the display. So if I have to honestly say guys, 2.5D displays are very good to operate, but at the same time, I believe they can break quite easily. So I would suggest you to add a perfect tempered glass, edge to edge tempered glass. So if I find one, I'll leave the links in the description box below and also add a case for Redmi 4. And apart from this, there are some cons like, you know, uh, hybrid SIM slot or flash sales. But I believe we have gotten used to those things now and uh, it doesn't make any sense complaining about those things because Xiaomi anyway is not going to change the way they sell their phones so I've stopped complaining about those things but yes uh, if you want to know those are also cons right so in the above mentioned cons I believe uh, certain things can be fixed through software for example uh, you know like uh, they have cut down on some software features like double tap to wake or you know uh, exchanging the functionality of buttons so they can add that through a software update they can also change uh, the display, the warmer uh, temperatures of the display. They can improve the fingerprint sensor performance and also they can improve the mic performance uh, in video recording. So these were the cons guys. Now quickly let's see for whom is this Redmi 4 and if you're planning to buy this Redmi 4, which variant should you get? Alright guys, so if you want a compact smartphone which is very handy to hold, which has great build quality, excellent battery life, uh, decent performance, decent camera, under 10,000 rupees, then you can go with 2GB variant of uh, Redmi 4. But if you're planning to get the 9,000 variant or the 11,000 variant, then uh, you know you can consider Redmi Note 4. Add a little extra and get the Redmi Note 4 because uh, I believe Snapdragon 625 is much better than Snapdragon 435 in terms of performance. And uh, battery life is almost similar on both. So no need to worry on that one. And also you're getting a bigger and better display that is Full HD on uh, Redmi Note 4. And it also has other facilities like multicolored notification LED light, uh, backlit uh, capacitive touch buttons and uh, all the software features. So I believe uh, it would be more value for money. So for 7,000 rupees, this is very good. But for 9,000 or 11,000 rupees, I would say add a little extra and get Redmi Note 4. So that's it guys. If you feel this video was informative, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Follow us on Twitter at RGH Tech TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.